Hey guys, so I'm here today to talk about how the X Mondo colors fade in your hair. I've done videos like this for both Pulp Ride and Arctic Fox in the past, and I think that when you're dyeing your hair funky colors, especially with semi-permanent colors, there's like this weird middle ground battle you're trying to do with your hair. You want the colors to stay decently long so you don't have to be touching up your hair all the fucking time, but like you also don't want them to stain your hair so that you can easily remove them and change your colors. <laughs> Personally with me, I found that Pulp Riot faded out really fast. If you're trying to change your colors a lot, you'll love it because it's easy to get out of your hair because it is more salon quality. However, if you're looking for something that's gonna last, last a little bit longer, I have liked Arctic Fox. So today we're going to talk about how X Mondo kind of measures up. If you missed my video, I did a split dye on this side of my hair. I dyed it with the super orange, which looks like this. And then on this side of my hair, I dyed it with the super pink, which looks like this. So before I get into this video, subscribe to my channel. I upload twice a week. I do hair content, commentary, whatever I'm feeling. So this is what my hair looks like now, but let's take it a step back and go back to the beginning. So I'm going to insert a clip here of what my hair looks like when I first dyed it. It was so majestic and beautiful. I will say the super orange color is a beautiful perfect orange. I find that a lot of people, I dyed my hair orange last year for the first time and I used, I've used both Pulp Riot and Arctic Fox and I find that when you're doing it at home a lot of girls will go for Arctic Fox because for Sunset Orange because it's like the best orange you can get but it's a very red toned orange. You actually have to mix it with their yellow Cosmic Sunshine in order to get the like a more orange tone as opposed to being red. Um, but I find that this is like your perfect pumpkin orange, maybe a little bit darker than pumpkin, but not by much. So yeah, obsessed with this color. Um, for me personally, the super pink on the other hand is a little bit more of a warm toned pink and I don't love that on myself personally. Um, I think because my hair is so warm tone, I feel like I need a cool tone to kind of cancel it out. When it's orange, it's different because it almost like melds with the color, but when it's the pink, it just makes it, it can make some parts so warm that they look more peachy than pink. So I feel like I would probably go with a more cool tone color to begin with. But I will say when I first dyed my hair, I was very impressed. The colors turned out super vibrant, super pigmented. When I was actually dyeing my hair, I thought that they weren't gonna show up as pigmented, but once I rinsed my hair out and styled it, I was pleasantly surprised. They looked gorgeous and I loved it. I did find it a little bit difficult to saturate my hair. The consistency of this is very thick compared to other semi-permanent dyes I've used like Arctic Fox, Pulp Riot, and even Manic Panic. So it's very, it's almost difficult to saturate your hair. You have to like really, really work it into your hair. Like so much that my arms were hurting and I have like very thick hair. So on the pink side, I had done the pink side first and I had find that I had missed some spots. So I actually touched up like my bang area and some of my end pieces that I felt like I missed the first time um, before washing my hair for the first time. And so this is what my hair looked like the first time I washed it. I don't even think I recorded anything the first time I washed my hair, but I will include a picture here because I did take a picture of my like makeup afterwards. So this is kind of what it looked like in natural lighting. So I took the picture in front of my uh, makeup mirror or my window and then the first the second time I washed my hair I also forgot to take a clip until right before I was about to shower So I just took this video on my phone that I will insert here So as you can see both sides at the beginning were fading pretty decently. I found that the pink side faded more unevenly than the orange side and kind of the more I wash my hair you'll kind of see that continuing so after those first two times, I started recording clips of me washing my hair. Um, so I'm gonna insert clips of that now. Keep in mind, I was washing my hair upside down in the bathtub um, with cold water, and then I would put my put conditioner in my hair, get in the shower, wash my body, and then I would rinse my hair out with cold water. So I know in a lot of my videos, people are in my fucking comments yelling at me about not using cold water. Like my hair is right in the comment. Like everyone calm down, it's my hair, I can do what I want with it. Um, I know rinsing your hair with cold water is better, but like some people aren't going to do that and that's, it's, it's okay guys. Girls with crazy hair, it's, it's okay to wash your hair with warm water. No one's gonna hurt you. Let it go. But I did wash my hair with cold water for all of the clips you're gonna see coming up. I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, so I'm just gonna mention it now. Fucking cold water, it was awful and I hated it. 
And I also used a Color Safe Redken shampoo and a high end conditioner because I have fucking, like, usually I will use a mask anyways because my hair is so dry. So, yeah. Okay, so I have washed my hair three times now and I'm lit. <laughs> This is my problem. So I've been really bad at filming check-ins. As you saw, my last after two wash check-in was literally just me filming myself before I got into the shower. I forget to do the check-ins when my hair looks cute. So you get this dusty hair bun moment. So I have washed my hair three times and I'm going to go wash it for the fourth time. I'm not sure I mentioned this already or not, but I wash it in cold water and then I put conditioner in it and then I rinse it in cold water. So I've only been washing my hair with cold water. I will say the orange side, I mean, obviously has faded a lot, but like looks very well. I think also this is because orange has a lot of yellow in it. So like, even if like, you can't really see any of my yellow in my natural hair coming through, but like it's holding on to the color very well. I find my ends usually fade faster. It looks good. Now, the pink side, I don't know what the f Okay, this is gonna sound crazy, but I feel like sometimes the pink side feels like it fades between washes. First of all, I think this color of pink is just too warm toned for me because it's already a little bit warm toned and then I had so much yellow in my hair. So for me, it's like a little bit too warm toned. I think I definitely need to try a more cool toned pink next time, but that's just like personal preference. But like, if you look here, you can see there's so much fading on the top layers. It's almost like the sun is fading the color. Like I know you're not supposed to use heat on colored hair because it can make it fade faster. And I obviously don't heat. I haven't heat on my hair. I've been curling it. But like, if you look at, first of all, for some reason, <laughs> my roots don't want to stay blonde and like the other day i had this hair just kind of clipped back like this and i feel like it like faded here just from being in the sun because like i obviously i have a window here and this is my desk this is where i work every day like do i need i put hair oil in my hair which has like a bit of a heat protectant in it but like you can see it's faded a ton it's just not fading well but like underneath looks better I feel like but like the ends are it's just like fading weird like and you know it would be one thing if like both sides of my hair were doing this but I feel like the orange side is holding up really nice and the pink side is just looking a little fucky like look at this bang situation here what am I gonna do with this I just guess just let it fade and look janky forever my hair is so dirty. I haven't washed it in seven days. I don't want to talk about it. But yeah, um, orange side looking fantastic, fading beautifully. It's, you know, I've washed it three times, I think I said, with like a color safe shampoo. And it's fading really nice. Like it's faded, obviously. But, you know, I feel like some of my darker orange shades I've used have faded to this color faster than this. So this is pretty good. Um, the pink side, I don't know, it's weird, especially because I did touch up the pink the first time I washed it, so it's really only like I've washed this twice. It's just so bizarre to me. Like, this looks like a hot mess. <laughs> I mean, this all looks like a hot mess, but yeah, so I'm going to, so this is what we're looking like with three washes. I will check in again at four. Okay, I'm sitting in front of my ring light, but I have washed my hair now four times. Um, as you can see, <laughs> the pink bangs are slowly falling apart. I definitely think the orange side has faded a lot, but as you can see, it's faded very evenly all throughout. Like the color is very even. The bangs might be a little bit lighter because obviously when I'm washing like my hair, I'm right at the front here, so I get into the bangs a little bit more, but the pink side, it's a fucking disaster. Like, as you can see, it's pretty patchy on the top layer. If I pull the top layer back though, like my underneath layers look like not bad, except for the ends. The ends look sus. Like, well, look at this. So yeah, it's like, I'm gonna keep 
washing this and I'll probably check in after a couple of more washes like at this point like I don't know what's happening but I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to go before I have to re-dye at least the pink side at least like some of it because like this is getting a little panchy and so now here I am after washing my hair three times after the last clip I recorded this is what my pink is looking like you can see that like my bangs are atrocious like it looks like some of my orange pieces are over here but actually it's just that like my bangs were kind of more warm toned and when the pink rinsed out it turned orange because the color was so warm you can see my ends are basically colorless um the whole top layer of my hair really is colorless but what's even more weird is that if i pull it back like you can see the pieces under here are so much more pigmented which like you know this has happened to me before when I dyed my hair purple. When I had purple hair, I found that they faded uneven. And I thought it was because just like those parts of my hair were dead or more porous. However, my hair is very healthy. However, I've only straightened my hair or heat styled my hair probably five times max this entire year. I've been taking very good care of my hair. My hairdresser told me my hair is healthy and I just got a cut a couple weeks ago. So like, and what doesn't make sense to me is now that I have two different colors in my hair, it's like, okay, the orange has faded out beautifully and evenly, right? Like even the underneath layers are faded out evenly. The top layers are faded out evenly. Everything is beautiful. Sure, there's probably some sections that are like more blonde than others and you probably can't see it as well on this side because the orange and the blonde will mix together. But like this side looks like absolute trash and I don't know why my hair is fading differently on the pink side than the orange side. If somebody knows something about like hair molecules or like color molecules and why pink is my worst nightmare. My cat's trying to help me but I don't understand cat. Like I don't understand why pink is doing this to me. Like I just don't, I just don't know. So I would love to know but right now my verdict would be that like super orange obsessed we love it we live for it i am going to touch up my color again soon but i do want to get some of this pink in here lightened a little bit i'm probably going to do a couple vitamin c treatments and maybe the baking soda method on this side of my hair because that's how i got purple out of my hair last time and it worked really well and again i'm not trying to get i'm not trying to get all of it out just most of it just so that i can dye it again there won't be too much residual color left so I did pick up the Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink to do on this side of my hair and I'm just showing you this because I want to show you the difference in the colors. So this here is X Mondo Super Pink and this here is Manic Panic's Hot Hot Pink. So you can definitely, I think it's a lot easier to see in these swatches that the Super Super Pink is very warm toned and the, and the Hot Hot Pink is very cool toned, more of like a fuchsia. I'm just showing you this because I find that sometimes when you look at one color, it's hard to tell by looking at it if it's warm toned or cool toned when it like because sometimes it can look neutral but when I look at them like this I can definitely see that it's definitely way more warm toned than cool toned so I just want you guys to keep that in mind again I didn't love the way the super pink faded on me however this is how um arctic fox's purple faded on me it wasn't purple rain it was the other purple I used I want to call it girls night out but I think it was a different one I'll put it here this is how it faded on me before so it might just be something with how my personal hair reacts to color um i don't think the x mondo lasted a super super long time but i don't think it faded super quickly the only thing i'm really disappointed about in regards to this is that the fading on the pink side is super uneven but other than that i quite enjoyed the way the colors look and the um fade out process but i will say again i think the major downfall for me for x mondo color is just like how much you have to work it into your hair. I think if you're getting the colors and diluting them with conditioner to make them a little bit lighter, they'll be super easy to work with. But I think that, also I think it's because I have super, super thick hair. So like it already takes me so long to do my hair, but yeah. So this is the fade out process. I would love to know down below what you guys think. Um, have you guys used X-Mondo colors before? Do you find that it fades super quick or not on your hair? Would love to know i know different colors fade different ways but this pink is just like really not it for me so i'm excited to try the manic panic hot hot pink and see how this works on my hair i'll probably just use the rest of my x mondo super orange on this side because like i really liked the orange color like it was nice 
a nice orange. If you can't get your hands on the X Mondo, I would say just mix Psychedelic, or sorry, uh, Sunset Orange and Cosmic Sunshine from Arctic Fox, and you'll get the same results. Um, I just want to make it, I just want to like mention here quickly that um, I did stop supporting Arctic Fox because Kristen Leanne is super problematic and I have a whole video on my channel about that. However, within the last month or so, Kristen Leanne um, sold her interest in Arctic Fox and so did her ex-husband Ryan Morgan. So they are no longer involved in the company at all. They have switched ownership. So if you were hesitant about supporting Arctic Fox before, um, this may kind of move you forward. I did a video on the new transition and everything and got confirmation from Arctic Fox that they're no longer involved just so you know but yeah that is where we are this side of my hair like could go out in public this side of my hair needs a hat <laughs> so uh yeah that's how they faded um let me know down below what you guys think let me know if you have any idea why my hair hates pink because like i kind of want to do my hair entirely pink after my next split dye i also kind of want to do like a chartreuse green I feel like that would fade super easily, but then I'm thinking like after I do a chartreuse drink green, what if I did like a teal color or like a turquoise, like not a turquoise, I guess more like a teal. My brain is now, this is what happens. As soon as the second you dye your hair one funky color, you're like, there's so many options. And I generally have to go dark because I have so many, like I just highlight my hair and my hair can't handle bleach. <laughs> so I have to go with more darker colors than more pastels because I would love like a pastel -y kind of color, but like my hair just won't accept that kind of life. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, let me know if you guys have any experience with X-Bondo before or if there are any other like, semi-permanent colors that you guys would suggest. Would love to try them out. I think I looked into Lunar Tides, but shipping to Canada is like a quadrillion dollars. Or they don't ship to Canada. It's one or the other. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!